Hi, this is David from Electric Teaching, and I just want to help uh, my students and I guess everybody else get started with a Python program. So the first thing that we need to do is um, if you're one of my students on the Moodle site, you will find scrolling down, I have available a single click to download right here the 2.54 MSI, the Windows Python program. And over here for the Mac, there's another link. These two actually directly connect you to Python. And after that downloads, you want to also download the Pygame uh, for um, Windows or the Pygame for the Mac install. If you, um, to show you exactly where that's coming from, in Python, we are using an older version documentation here. If you go into documentation, or, um, you will be able to get access the current, um, excuse me, I think I want to go to downloads. There we go. I want to go to downloads. And then from here, you go to releases, and you will find the 2.56 version is the one that I'm using right now. I've used 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, etc. For for the the parts of Python that I prefer to use, 2.5 seems to have all the best features um, with very little limitations. Um, it also makes it very easy to uh, take a Windows version of Python and turn it into an executable with uh, the aid of uh, um, some software that somebody wrote, a Pygame document that somebody wrote to enable that to happen. So I prefer the 2.5 just so I can make it all the way into an executable. After you download that, you're going to want to come over to Pygame.org and in the downloads you will find the versions that I've already mentioned above but basically you have to be careful because you want to get the versions that correlate with the Python that you're using so the one I was talking about is the Pygame this is a library Pygame for 2.5 and this library this library will not really show up after you've installed it it just basically installs a bunch of files in the Python folder uh, within their library folder and for the Mac version down a little bit lower, you'll see the Mac version. And again, you just want to be sure that if you get 2.5, that you get the Pygame release for 2.5. Um, same thing for uh, any other of the versions, 2.6, etc. Okay? Once that happens, you want to go to the Start menu. And a lot of times you will see, depending on what uh, Windows and and what happens on a Mac, basically, um, you will find uh, that you're looking for the word idle. You're looking for the word idle. It's a program, a Python program or a Python area that's called idle. And if it doesn't show up, you got to go into the programs, find the Python folder, should be in one of the main folders, and this is what it looks like, idle, or Python GUI. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Python command line, just so you know, is a way of being able to access access the Python programming and be able to type in commands and get res get responses. But GUI idle, this idle program, uh, is really user friendly because it is exactly what it says. It's a, a graphical user interface, so it's a little more friendly, able to do a little bit more with it. And so what we want to do right here, here's the GUI part of it. You can use your mouse. Graphical user interface is what GUI stands for. And you can use your mouse and you can uh, uh, work with a file, edit, menu bar, etc. And what we need to do is we need to do File, New Window, File, New Window. And once you've done a File, New Window, this is where you can write your code. Just to give you an idea of what happens with Python, you can actually, in the idle window, create code. For instance, I can assign a variable, maybe x equals 4, and I can say print x, and it'll print the number 4 back. I can give it equations like x plus 5, and it'll understand that and execute it based on variables. So what we want is we want an area that you can write, uh, excuse me, multi-line codes so that, uh, to be able to set off a, a bunch of executions at the same time. In other words, to be able to make some of the games or um, programs that you would like to install and work with in other arenas. Now remember, we have, I've been able to take Python and take it all the way to an executable to be run on Windows. You should all also be able to take Python code, and I've actually seen it, and make it all the way into an Android game as well, or an Android app, as uh, um, would be a better way to say it. Um, 
that's about it from here just make sure you save it one last thing if you don't save it as a dot py you won't get the interface uh the graphical user user interface as they mentioned here um they won't get the interface that you like if that has the color and make sure everything's running based on the color and structure so i'm going to save this and i usually take it out of the python folder from the command line or excuse me from the c drive and put it into my documents so just for example you would might want to put it into my documents etc but whatever you name it just name it something with dot pi so if i'm making a game i might call it game dot py and if you don't do that you won't get the color that you're looking for for instance like the print line goes to as you see right here yellow or golden color um, and that's how you're going to get the interface that you're looking for in the games so this is how you get set up and started from here i've got two other uh two video series at this moment that'll let you make um, a quadra uh, excuse me a, a quadratic graph uh grapher and solver as well as a uh, game with is a game excuse me an object orientated game uh, called star catcher in my video sequences um, I'm David from Electric Teaching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, one last thing. Um, after you've run it, save it, etc., make sure when you open it, you do a right click on it. Don't just double click and open it. So I saved that just to my folder over here called Game. You can see it's right here. But don't just double click on it. Nothing will happen. Um, you're not going to be able to reopen it that way. That's running the program. When you double click on it, it runs the program. So you want to do a right click edit with idle um, edit with idle is the area that you want to um, be able to edit your code and then from there run it which you'll learn how to do in other uh, video lessons uh, hope that's i should see the print line back here so this is the shell and here's the file that you're making to run within basically within the shell idea uh, i think that's enough to get you started uh, thank you for listening